How did you hear about us? Yeah, I think it was probably a year ago when you were doing a workshop. And I thought about it at that time and looked at some of the stuff. And I think Sean had sent some emails along the way. Right. Too, from then till now. Um, so I, th I think it was an email or something like that that I looked at. And it, you know, it was interesting to me. Um, so it's something I wanted to do. And it was just you calling, I guess, was what kind of made me make, take the next step. Was this workshop anything like what you anticipated it would be? Yeah, I mean, because... I've tried to go to Fed Biz Ops, and uh, you know, and I do have. I get every day a vendor procurement, you know, where you can set that every day. It'll right. tell you anything for. But that's only Corps of Engineers stuff for St. Paul or Omaha right. districts, and there's a lot of stuff other than that, um, and that's a lot of IFB stuff that I'm going to even see at the uh, on the exchanges, right? You know, builders exchanges. So, so yeah, just the bid tracker. You know, seeing that, it makes a lot of sense to, to get all that information out in front a couple times a week. You like how fast you can go through it? Yeah, yeah. So so that was good. And, and just, see, I had a mindset before that if you can do a job, if you're happy, if, if we can do it at 25000 we're making 10000 profit, I was under the mindset that that's what you should do. It's unethical to bid $90,000. You're screwing the government. But when you put it in the light that, it's getting spent. It's it's doing the intended, and they don't need to award it. I mean, they'll either That's award right. it or not. So I mean, you shouldn't be guilty about it if you can get it, get it, because yeah. you're going to spend it, and it's going to help your people. It's going to help your economy. Right. But so there's a lot of stuff there you weren't actually thinking about that you could add on to that. Job. Right. Right. Yeah. Just the different parts of it. Adding value. Right. You're right. Adding value, and uh, just how you and I never. Ever thought that you could go in with a bid, hundred fifty thousand? Next bidder's at two twenty-five, and get that up closer. I mean, because obviously you did make a mistake if there's something there. Right. It. I mean, and who's to say what it was? I mean, to actually be able to substantiate that and get the job and still right close that gap. I mean, that alone is going to help. You know, because I was happy if we can just get out of it. <laughs> you know, so so that was one of your big takeaways yeah. was yeah. learning for the first time that it doesn't you matter. Can close that, and you can close the gap and get the contract. Get yeah. yeah, yeah, I never, never, ever knew that was a possibility, and certainly they're not going to tell me about it because they want to get they'll either, but it wouldn't hurt them to tell because they'd still get the job done for less than the next low bidder. What makes you think they know? Right, they don't. Right, that's just it. Okay. They don't know the FARs. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, s some of them know some of the FARs, but they certainly don't. Um, well, I mean, look, you've been a contractor for how many years? Yeah, well, I've been on my first job when I was 15, and I'm 39, so 24 years. Okay, so you've been a contractor for 24 years. Yeah. You've done a lot of government contracts. Yeah. And of, of everything you saw here over the last three days, what percentage of it did you have no clue? This is all new stuff. 50%. 50%? Yep. And with all that experience, would you say that probably 50% across the board, any contractor coming in here, 50% of what they learn here, there's no place for them to even learn it or even know it exists? Yeah. I would definitely agree with that. Certainly worth it coming down here? It was, yeah, definitely worth it. Is there it. any place else that you could go to get the information you had here? I wouldn't know where to start looking. I've never looked into it on any further. Well, I guess because you reached out to us, that's why we came. Yeah. So, look, there's people. You struggled with it for a year, and then yeah. suddenly I made the phone call, and it, it's an invitation. And this is by invitation only. Mm -hmm. But if there's another contractor that's wondering whether or not he should ask for an invitation, or if he does ask, I invite him, what would you tell him he should do? All right. There's the camera. Yeah, it would you know, definitely be a, I'd take him up on it, you know, because... Um, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it is an unorthodox, just the way of bidding and stuff. It's not like anything you've done before. Because um, bidding in jobs, like I said, you find the subs, you get, you take the lowest one, and you put your overhead and profit on it. And uh, But you're pretty limited in what you can make. And, you know, we have we have 30 to 40 employees and lots of machinery, and, and it's definitely, I'm going to rethink how we bring value to the world, I mean, with all of that, because, uh, you know, if you can if you can make what you want to make and not have to, you know, deal with some of that stuff, I think that would be a good thing. <laughs>